find the cube of the following numbers so they have given these numbers let us take the first number that is 0 0.05 and we need to find out the cube of this number so let us start the solution first we will write first we will take the first bit that is 0 0.05 what we have to find we have to find the cube so cube means we need to multiply this three times so 0 0.05 into 0 0.05 0 0.05 into 0 0.05 so here the 5 is getting multiplied three times 5 into 5 first we will multiply just to ignore the decimals okay N multiply these numbers so 5 into 5 5 fives are 25 25 into 5 is 125 so 1 2 5 we got this now we will calculate how many uh, digits are there after the decimal so there are two here two next two okay so there are total six so that means six digits are going to come after the decimal so 0 0.000 so here it is zero okay so let me write it again 0 0.000125 so we got six six digits after the decimal now let us take the second bit so in second bit we are having minus 6 whole cube so if we will multiply minus 6 into minus 6 into minus 6 so minus into minus plus 6 6 are 36 into minus 6 so plus into minus is minus 36 into 6 is 216 So minus 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 into minus 0 0.9. So here minus into minus is plus 99s are 81. We will count the decimals for the first one. So and the second one we got 2. So we are getting 2 digits after the decimal into negative 0 0.9. Next let us multiply plus into minus minus now we will multiply with 9 9 into 81 9 ones are 9 9 eights are 72 L let us count the number of digits after the decimal here it is 2 and here it is 1 so we are getting three digits so 0 0.729 so it is 2.1 whole cube so 2.1 into 2.1 into 2.1 we know the square 21 into 21 is 441 let us write that here 441 into 21 when we multiply any number with 1 we will get the same number so we can write 441 into 2 1s are 2 2 4s are 8 2 4s are 8 so 1 4 plus 2 is 6 4 plus 8 is 12 so 8 plus 1 is 9 9 to 6 1 so 9 2 6 1 we will count the number of decimals 1 2 3 so we will get the decimal before the three digits let us solve the fifth bit fifth bit is 0 0.33 whole cube so we can write 0 0.33 into 0 0.33 into 0 0.33 so we need to multiply first we will multiply 33 with 33 okay just forget about the decimals so 33s three are 9 33s are 9 next we will get again 99 now add 9 9 plus 9 is 18 1 9 plus 1 is 10 so 1089 so 11089 now you can count the decimals 2 2 that means 4 you will get 0 0.1089 into 0 0.33 let us multiply 1089 with 33 3. so that is 33 so 39s are 27 so 38s are 24 24 plus 2 is 26 three zeros are zero two three ones are three so we got three two six seven so let us write down three two six seven 
now we can add this 7 7 plus 6 is 13 so 1 6 plus 3 is 9 3 plus 2 is 5 3 so we got 3 3 5 9 3 7 so here four digits are there after the decimal and 2 4 plus 2 is 6 so we need to get 6 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 next minus 5 integer 2 upon 3 so let us first convert this mixed fraction into improper so minus 3 5s are 15 15 plus 2 is 17 so 17 upon 3 whole cube so we can write minus 17 upon 3 into minus 17 upon 3 into minus 17 upon 3 so 3 uh, if we multiply first we will see for the signs okay minus into minus plus 17 into 17 is 289 by 3 3 is are 9 into minus 17 upon 3 so here if we multiply 289 289 with 17 we will get 7 9s are 63 7 8s are 56 plus 6 is 62 7 2s are 14 14 plus 6 is 20 if we multiply with 1 we will get 289 so here we will write 3 9 plus 2 is 11 1 8 plus 1 is 9 4 so 4 9 1 3 is the answer so we can write 4 9 1 3 upon 9 3 is our 27 and the sign is plus into minus minus okay now let us divide this if we divide 4 9 1 3 4 9 1 3 divided by 27 so 27 ones are because 27 twos are 54 so we have to take one only 27 ones are 27 two left two left and here one comes down okay 221 so if we multiply with uh, 8 27 into 8 we will get 216 so 216 is the nearest number now let us subtract 11 minus 6 is 5 so we got 5 bring that 3 down so we got 53 27 ones are 27 so the remainder is 26 so we can write 27 so we have a uh, we have the quotient as 181 and the remainder is 26 don't forget about the sign so for sign is negative